what's up gorgeous it's your girl Nicole and you're watching Nicole loves only fans so today this is like a little bit different video I'm gonna post this video on top of the daily review that I normally do and this is just about my personal experience on only fans hey um, so I as of this video I've only been on only fans like a week <laughs> and I just want to talk about like how it was during the week and kind of how I got here and you know blah 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 okay cool so I've done like other types of content creations and I was kind of in the process of like starting several like different YouTube channels about different topics and I just got this idea like maybe I should just do like only fans girl reviews because I don't know like I kind of wanted to hop on the only fans bag bandwagon but I wasn't quite a hundred percent ready to do that and I didn't like know anything about it how it goes so I was like you know I know how to make videos so maybe I'll just make a video making reviews about only fans right yeah why not hey yeah okay so I had this and some other um, channels I created and I just kind of like did them all to just kind of see where they went and you know uh if you know anything about youtube or if you know about like building a youtube channel it's like super hard like you get no love like you have to grind it out unless you're like talking about something like current events or like gossipy stuff and i'm not i'm just not a gossip like that so i don't i don't want to talk about gossipy stuff and plus I just don't want to have videos that like are really not relevant like two days after you make them <laughs> you know like that's just not really my my thing but I do respect uh, creators to do it but the channels that I was starting completely unrelated to each other and like none of them were really doing that great and so I think I did this channel for maybe like six months and then I just kind of you know with everything with you know the pandemic and all that so uh, you know how it goes like I don't know I got distracted and it just didn't quite work out so I was like huh blah like none of this is doing that great I feel like I'm just like a million miles away from like being successful so I just kind of like gave up on it for like three months like all the social medias just gave up on them right and then you know when I finally got the chance to come back around and see what was going on you know this channel in particular had like blown up blown up or not maybe not blown up but it was doing significantly better and I was like you know what let's go with what people want to see what I'm interested in I ixnade all the other channels and then I decided to just like put a hundred percent of my you know energy into this channel here now one of the reasons I had decided to be no face in the beginning is pretty much because I thought maybe one day I might try an OnlyFans you know and I always was interested in being a no face creator because I don't know I just like no face it kind of just like gives you like this mystery I mean there's plenty of girls who show their faces so I don't know it's just like something a little different and it allows you to like fantasize and picture maybe somebody else's face on my body and I don't know like I just think it's fun and sexy to kind of not know quite who you you know what I look like I just think that's a, a sexy idea you know so anyway at this point I think I've done only 90 reviews of OnlyFans so I am very very familiar with the content what people put out uh, how girls are going about doing it so as time went on I just kind of got more and more interested and then I came across one particular creator which is Emma, uh, Midwest Emma she's like my favorite like content creator and she actually like one of my posts the other day yay go Emma uh, she's out here like making that money like she takes the uh, business very seriously she's also no face creator and I just like the way she goes about things she's very transparent about you know how she became successful and what she's doing to you know just kind of blow up on OnlyFans so I totally dug her I saw how much she was making and I was like you know what now is the time right so I got inspired by her and obviously I watched a ton of ton of OnlyFans so I was inspired by every lady also two ladies in particular I really like are uh, Natalia Sense and ah, I can't think of the name don't you hear when that happens oh Valentina Victoria like I really I really like Valentina's like I like both of their skilo like I like all of them they're all different but um I appreciate all of them in different ways so I say you know what I'm going to jump into OnlyFans give it a try and you know what surprisingly I think it's kind of fun it's cool you get to interact with people so far I've had nothing but great experiences and yeah I'm just gonna share my experience with you so forewarning 
my first week of OnlyFans is probably not your typical week of OnlyFans because I've been doing this channel now for over a year. So this is my Instagram page. Uh, if you want to check it out, it is Nicola's OnlyFans. Um, and I just kind of revised it. So we're getting there. We're getting to you know, the fabulousness of it. Um, everything is still a work in progress, of course, because I'm still fairly new. But on top of having this channel, I also have my Instagram account and I had or have an OnlyFans account, but it was a free account. And I just reposted videos from this channel on to that channel. So, or onto that page. So it was free. And so over that year's time, I did gain followers right so I started off my first week in OnlyFans <clears throat> with like a little over 300 followers right uh, and then it was free I took those videos down put my OnlyFans con uh, content up or started like putting it up and made it paid right so initially <clears throat> I started with those 300 but so how it works is it like doesn't just charge people like they get they still get the whole month like free to see your content and test it before they actually have to pay to resubscribe, which is okay with me. So during that process I have, or during the past week since I made it monetized, I have lost um, subscriber, but I anticipate that because I just think that a lot of people who are on there came for like just the free stuff or whatever, you know, subscribe for whatever reason and maybe didn't really anticipate that I would be actually doing my own exclusive content, which is absolutely okay. But I did super, 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 super good in my opinion on my OnlyFans page. So yeah. Um, so it also kind of have like, and because I have this channel, it just gives me a unique way to like promote myself. A lot of girls start off from like zero. Um, so that wasn't the case for me. I already started off with a few hundred people and it's hard for me to really great gauge how many of those 300 are actual like subscribers who are going to stay around for me so we'll just see over the next month how it goes but you know you guys came here for the numbers if you guys are interested in my only fans account link is in the description baby uh please go check it out and i'm just going to share some of my numbers with you okay so <clears throat> I'm just going to do a screenshot because you probably can't see my screen very well. So on the first week of OnlyFans, I think I posted my first video or first picture or something like on the 23rd, 24th, something like that. Today is the 31st of January. So it's been approximately a week. So in that week's time, I made $727.37. And that came from messages where I sent PPV and also from a few subscriptions. So there are some people who resubscribed. Yay. Good for you. Or some people who just came over and wanted to see my content. Bless your heart. Cause you know, I'm new. So I really appreciate your support and I plan to literally post every single day, which I have been doing since I started the account. So I'm slowly building my content and it is fabulous. So $727 and 37 cents. Uh, before the OnlyFans fees and then after that $581.77 is what I have made on my first week of OnlyFans which I think is pretty dope. I think that's pretty cool, right? <clears throat> so something I found a little fascinating because if you're not a creator on OnlyFans, you know, it may like this percentage may not mean a lot to you or whatever, you, you know, it, it just may not mean a lot to you. But um, you always hear creators say, I'm in the top 1%, I'm in the top, you know, 0.05%, right? Which means you're making the bank, right? So with the money I earn, my $727, that put me actually in the top 15% of OnlyFans girls. So that's kind of like, very surprising to me um because that's uh, trust me i am super grateful and appreciative and i think i'm off to a really 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 good start and i plan to pew, like keep going but being that i only made that much and it's the top 15 percent tells me that a lot of you know ladies gentlemen whatever who are on on only fans really ain't making a whole bunch of money you know and this is <clears throat> something I'll say as a person who 
researches OnlyFans a lot is that you can only win if you are like constantly promoting yourself and being very consistent. I mean, that's kind of like the key to success period is working your butt off and being consistent and being intentional, right? So intention. So that tells me if I'm in the top 15% with, you know, under a thousand dollars, that means 85% of anybody who starts OnlyFans is not hustling like that. <laughs> you know, they don't pay attention. I mean, I've even seen like, you know, huge creators who kind of like abandoned ship, AKA like Cardi B, you know, I'm sure she made a nice little chunk of change on her OnlyFans, but she hasn't updated her stuff in like a year and I'm pretty sure she's still making her money. So, <laughs> you know. Success on OnlyFans is really about like being consistent. Like the top girls, the top 1%, they're on multiple platforms. They update regularly. They have beautiful pictures. Like that is a common theme I see. And they have like reasonable prices to get you in the door. And then once you're in there, you know, they give you a lot of PPV, which I think is kind of the formula of success. But again, I'm only one week in, I'll probably, once it's a month, I'll probably give another update, tell you guys just how I'm doing, how I'm feeling, show you any hiccups along the way. And yeah, that's what it is. Super happy with my success on OnlyFans, already a top 15% creator, which makes me very happy. And I plan to go forward. So if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comment section. And also please subscribe to the channel because this channel is an OnlyFans reviews channel. If you're interested in OnlyFans, I give you all the tea, baby, without you having to spend the money. <laughs> so please subscribe here again if you're interested in my new OnlyFans content updated daily. Please check out the description, or excuse me, yeah, check out the description box and then link and click it and enjoy. <laughs> okay, so that's it, guys. I will see you tomorrow because of course you're already subscribed and you're seeing the OnlyFans reviews.